All right, it is time for my week seven update on these two planet aquariums. Let's start with a 45 gallon on the left here. And see the plants are doing pretty well. One problem is the Utricularia has been popping up and that I'm sure is just a case of it is not bright enough for this plant to carpet successfully. So it is stretching towards the light and then somehow got loose and it's just been floating around the tank. So I think I'm gonna get all that out. Next time I do a water change, I'll siphon it out. It's just too, not enough, not bright enough light and it's a deep tank too, which is another, probably another part of my, um, lighting problem is it's a 24 inch deep tank, which I don't think is ideal, particularly if you don't have strong enough lights. Maybe these lights, I could get away with it if it was a much lower, or much uh, shorter tank. I also have, um, for now, I'm not buying a new light for it. I realized that these current USA lights were not at full strength. So I finally got around to fixing that today and I'm gonna see what happens. If that helps at all or if it's just still not enough, I may upgrade the light here. I'm still trying to not do it, but kind of like to see where it would go if I did. So uh, yeah. See what happens. But um, yeah, the Lemnophila looks really nice. I still am not convinced this actually is Rotala Willickii, because it really looks like in front, if you see right in front of the um, Lemnophila, it's hard to focus on it. But there is Didiplus right across the front here, and it looks pretty much the same as the Rotala, so I don't know. Sterogony, the front, these are doing well. I'll probably use a trim. The newer Agostamans in the front are starting to take form. They're doing well. The older ones in the back look really nice. Finally, this Bogostaman Stellatus Dassin starting to look like more of what it's supposed to look like. And yeah, the Rotala blood red, again, not very red, but if I do get new lights, hopefully that will help. So yeah, overall though, happy with this tank. Could be doing better. Still haven't decided on what fish and when. I almost bought some Emperor Tetras at a local pet store, and then I decided to hold off because I'm not 100% sure. And I've just been liking it, which is amazing, usually, because I, usually I want to just fill fish tanks with fish. Just want to get every type of fish I've never had before and overstock them. So I'm actually pretty pleased with myself that it's been pretty much two months nearly. And the only fish in here are the autocyclus and then there's some shrimp. That's pretty incredible for me. Now going to the 46 bow front tank. I'm super happy with this aquarium. I think Again, the light on this aquarium is the same current USA light, so I've increased the lighting. So we'll see how how that does. The only problem with this tank would be the um, Lagenandra on the right. It's very green. Without higher light, it won't turn that sort of pink color. And then the um, Cryptocorini spiralis red in the back. You could see there's some red on the leaves. 
It's like red on the edges with like a green band in the center. I've grown this before in a tank that wasn't very high light and it just turned into a really attractive green once it grew bigger. So I will lose the red coloring on that probably. Um, but yeah, we'll see what ends up happening with the light situation. But otherwise, the Bucephalandra are doing great, which I can't believe it almost, because I've just said before, I've never had luck with this plant. I really think it is worthwhile waiting till the tank is cycled and any sort of biofilm on the wood is gone before adding this plant because in the past I haven't done that and it's just always melted right like almost immediately and now they are looking pretty good no melt and growing well and the mosses which still look admittedly kind of silly where I've glued them onto the wood but they're actually I can see that they're growing now, so I have high hopes for the moss, too. I can actually see it in active growth, so that's exciting. Up here, there's a little bit of some biofilm at the tip of that wood. You can see the mosses on the other side. So that's a little bit of a concern. I would think that the autos or the shrimp would have eaten that by now. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But overall, this tank is looking really nice. It's my little right in the center. That is Cryptocorony nurii. I really love the look of that plant. I trimmed the Hecrophila penitifida. The dwarf hair grass is starting to, you can see the little runners popping up all throughout the, uh, the aqua soil. So that is starting to spread and hopefully will fill in and look less like little hair plugs. Cryptocorony parva in the front there looking nice. of the Laganandra. So, oh, and then you can see I replaced the, um, oops. I replaced the stupid um, leaking diffuser. Use my spare. So, this tank, really happy with. And again, not going to add any fish to this tank for now. I'm going to see if the little Normani killifish will breed. That would be cool. And oh, and the shrimp, two of the shrimp, one orange and one blue are buried. So they are breeding and hopefully I'll little, have little shrimplets soon. So I'm just going to not... I'm gonna hold off on adding any more fish until the plants are more established. The existing fish and shrimp maybe have had a chance to breed successfully. And then I'll see about maybe adding fish. But yeah, that's the update for these two tanks, week seven. Still pretty happy with both of them. And we'll see where things go from here, if I make any tweaks with lighting or any other changes. But that's it for this week. Thanks for watching.